Just having the names of menu items written out isn't particularly appealing for a restaurant. So let's make those items look good. First though, an important lesson. Swift UI is designed to be composable, which means you can make our views out of any other views you like. We have a simple text view of our items right now, but we're gonna make it much, much more to bring it to life. And we could put that right into content view at Swift, but it becomes long and hard to read. A better idea is to make a new view type we can embed inside content view. And Swift UI makes this both easy, taking only a few seconds to learn, and fast. It has almost zero performance impact. So press Command N to make a new file, choose Swift UI view, and then press Next. Name this thing Item Row, then press Create. And you'll see we end up with some code just like we have with Content View earlier on. A struct, which conforms to our view protocol, has a body returning some view, and text, hello world. Now we're going to be doing something new in just a moment. But first, I want to get to the point where we're using an item row in our code. This means we need to have a menu item property in our item row and use it inside its body, like this. And our property for our item row, var item is a menu item, like that. Then in our body here, we won't just say hello world anymore. Instead, I'm going to say item.name. Show its item name in the body. Now we can go back to contentview.swift over here. And when we have text item name, I'm going to replace that with item row, item that item. So instead of a simple text field, put our item into that row instead. So as you can see, that'll create a new item row for each item inside our menu section, which will in turn have some text inside. Now, if I press Command B, this code won't actually build. Very unhappy because of the stuff down here on line 21. This code is invalid. Now this thing here, item row previews conforms to preview provider, that is Swift UI's previewing code, which is what allows us to show live previews here on the right while we work. As you can see, it's trying to create an item row without a menu item attached, which is not possible anymore. If you really want to preview individual rows, you could do so by making a full copy of our menu and passing an example item. But in this instance, I provide an example item for us to use so we have something to look at. So change the code like this, item row, using the item, menu item, dot example, like that. Use the example menu item. And once that's done, we can press Command B again and our code will build. Now back in our content view, I'm gonna reload the automatic preview on the right here so we can see how this thing's going to look. And as you can see, it looked identical, which is what we hoped for. Of course, now we can start to add new things to the item row struct to make it more interesting. So I'll go to item row and I'll hide this left-hand bar to make some more space. I'm gonna start by placing the item's thumbnail image and name side by side like you'd normally see in a table view cell. Now you might think to write something like this, the image of the item's thumbnail image, and then below that, the item's name in some text. But if you try that, you'll get an error message back from Swift, boom. This thing declares an opaque return type, but has no return statement in its body from which to infer an underlying type. What it means is this body returns some view, it means some sort of specific view, not two different views, and certainly not no views at all. To fix this, we have to put our two views here inside a container, which in our case will be a HStack. This is a container that places its child views side by side horizontally, which is perfect for our needs. So I'll say here, there is a HStack, and then indent the image and the text inside it, and then close the brace. So the HStack contains the image and the text. Now, if you want to put the item's price next to its name, you might try something like this. Item text name, and then text uh, dollar string interpolation item dot price, like that. Boom. However, that'll put the price to the right of the name, which isn't great. What we usually want here is some kind of subtitle style we get from a UI table view cell. We can have an image on the left, and on the right have a title above a detail label. 
we can achieve that with another stack called a V-stack, a vertical stack. This can go inside our existing H-stack to create the hierarchy we want. So I'll say here, before the item name, there's a V-stack, like that, and push a text name and text price inside the V-stack. So the V-stack is inside the H-stack. Let's do a quick preview to see how that looks so far. Okay, so you can see our item name and price sit nicely to the right of the image but they're also centered here horizontally. That happens because it's the default behavior of vStack, but a left alignment would look much better here. We can get that by asking for a leading alignment when creating the vStack, like this. Our vStack has the alignment of dot leading, like that. So its UI has no concept of left and right. It's all leading and trailing, so you get left to right or right to left languages working out of the box as standard.